So here we are at Yongma Land. Let's just walk around for a bit first, shall we? Mm -hmm. So this is the carousel that apparently you can pay 25 thousand won which is about 25 bucks to go oh my goodness there's a a dinosaur costume on the ground there <laughs> wow yeah so you can pay money to have the lights put on and here are some wow and there, that's one of the original bumper cars there yeah here's a policeman who's seen better days i'm guessing And uh, this fire brigade ride. Which looks super exciting. Should we go in and have a look? It doesn't look all that different to your standard theme park rides. Oh my, here is um, dance swing sign with <laughs> some very interesting dudes. Check out the bolts in his back. Oh yeah, so I guess he was animatronic, but uh, he's certainly lost some of his dance swing, hasn't he? Yeah, he's not so animated now. There's a smurf. Is that Papa Smurf? That is Papa Smurf. What the heck is on his back? Uh, I think it's you can ride on him. I assume it's. That's his man. massive butt. Yeah. Oh, hang on, it can't be because his pants are red. It must be a, like it's a, a backpack bag. or something. Backpack yeah. Be. He's reading a book, um, which has the words A and M written in it. Well, they're not really words, are they? Oh, here's the Viking ride. Which I guess is what those fellows over there were from. This must be 3D <gasps> oh my simulators. Gosh, yeah, 3D simulators. And there's a the fancy one over there. Yeah, there is too. These ones are more space age. <laughs> oh, wow, you can go in them. Oh, the excitement. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to take some flash photos in here so that we can see. So I guess this was like a control room here. And super safety. Do not press these buttons if any door is open. Um, yeah, <laughs> you kind of think you should have a system in place for that one. This looks like a pretty new ride, doesn't it? Mm. Well, I mean, it's in fairly good condition compared yeah. to a lot of it. Is that beautiful with the cherry blossoms? Yeah. Out? And here's another. Can I see if we can peek inside? Yeah, I'm just wondering if the other side has a door as well. It does. Um, Seems to be wide shut. We'll have a look at the other one then, hey? Oh, I don't know that we should <laughs> really do that. Oh. The door has like come apart oh, yeah. from the internal workings. You can see the fiberglass. Yeah, you can see in there. So we won't touch that any further. Yeah. Oh, look at this little train. It's like a Shinkansen one, and then here's a standard train up here. Mm. Oh, wow, look at this. <laughs> on your mark, get on the floor. Yeah. Awesome. Here's a safety helmet, which perhaps we should be wearing. Um, I don't know what this was. Is there inside a washing machine? Yeah, it looks like general um, household appliances. Some large. Some building material. 
Wow. There's a lot of these pod cut rides. There is, there? isn't there? I don't think it's really a theme park as such, is it? It's just it's like an a amusement park. Amusement park, yeah. These, um, this style reminds me of the um, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Yeah. I wonder what the, how you got into these. Mm. It's, it looks like it's rusty, but it's just, you know, obviously made to look rusty and yeah, the paint soft, is peeling off. Yeah. yeah, so here's an example. Rideables or not? No, I'm not oh, sure. A, here we are. Oh, here's a lever. Here's a lever for getting in. That seems to be, and then I think it probably slides or did at some mm. point. It looks like it goes back yeah, that it way. Yeah, that's the fucking. Because that would be the that that is open now. Yeah. But I think it's electronically locked or something. Yeah, look at this ship. This is pretty beautiful. interesting how the cabin holes are open on this side and close on that side. I'm guessing I guess there that was, was the back that faced the mechanism that swung. Yeah, swung it. Do you think it was part of that ride over there? Possibly, but that one's still got it. It's a boat and yeah. very clearly Viking written on it. Yeah, which is why, mm. I don't know, this is obviously the mechanism of something that's no longer attached to it as well. Oh look, there's some kind of big sign up there. And another of these pod rides, and a cute group of dragons, I guess. Maybe they were attached to that thing there? Hmm. Uh, yeah. Kind of filled with junk now. Oh, I can hear like the tinny sounds of... You know what sounds like amusement park rides? It's kind of creepy. So this Jeep used to cost a thousand won, which is like what, a dollar to have yep. a ride on. Yeah, it would have been a nice view here. Beautiful forest around. Maybe then this is just an open walk that we could actually go on. Yeah, which might be a nice thing to do to overlook around here. And here's a booth of some description. I found out another that's operational booth. Yeah, I, well, aside from the Smurf, but I don't oh, know. Yes, I yeah, goofy. They definitely didn't get permission. Riding a unicorn? No, it's not even a unicorn. It's just, just a horse. A horse. There's uh, some sort of squishiness there. I'm going to see if I can go into this control booth, actually. Oh, wow. It's bumper, car. yeah, dodging car or bumper car. Hell. Look at, they're just falling apart. Oh, wow. What on earth was this? A mirror? A mirror? A mirror? Yeah, maybe a house of mirrors or something. Yeah, sort of. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah. or maybe there's signs like guide signs for around the place. Here's what looks like Dumbo, and yeah, ride ready. So this is what it's like inside the control booth of a ride. For any of us who have ever wondered that, or at least what it's like when it's completely filthed up. Okay, so I guess this is the outer limits of the park. We've just kind of done a one-way walk. Here's a nice old smashed Korean Coke bottle for you. So I believe this place was operating until 2011. Ooh, it's died off quickly. Um, and it's a cool spot for a photo, isn't it? And I think it started in the, I don't know, 80s, I want to say? Some epic looking dragons, eh? Hey? 
And a crashed helicopter. Interesting sceptre. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that had something hanging off of it. Who knows what. It'd be interesting to find some footage or photos of this place when it was operational. Oh, this yeah. is Adventure Palace. Oh, and we've got some tower PCs just stuffed in here. I reckon we could get those hey, working. Some RAM there. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty good video card. And a really weird boot. It's good enough to have a fan. Look at that boot over there. Yeah. Oh, here's another costume. Ooh. Another dinosaur, isn't it? Um, I guess. And there's the, I guess, the pants element of it. I think it might be a dragon or something. Yeah. That would kind of fit with the other stuff, but... Yeah, we've still got a fair oh, bit of the park, park to take there. a look at, haven't we? <laughs> yes, there's... It's a lot of just general fantasy themes, isn't it? Yeah, oh, it's good too. Yeah, the blossoms are absolutely gorgeous. Like, this is in some ways nicer than the um, cherry blossom festivals <laughs> showing. I guess there was something here because there's some steps leading up to it and a bit of a stone ring. Which also leads up to this nice area here. This gives you a good view of the rest of the park. Wow, there's a whole bunch of... Um, yeah. Yeah, we can go up up the top there too. Mm. We should do that. This looks like a Ferris wheel ride, um, doesn't it, carriage? Yeah. But there doesn't seem to be any evidence of there having been such a ride here. I missed this when we came past. Should we climb up there, do you think? Sure. Right. There's a fair bit of glass on the ground here. Rolls the rose. Okay. Troll boat. So a lot of these are rides for really really small kids most of us would not fit inside or at least I would have a hard time of it there's a dead clown I'm interested in these ones here oh look it's a bun presto machine and good work on grabbing a thorny branch there um, kind of depressing looking Sailor Moon. And Goku, yes. Who is sort of crying tears of mold. These clowns might have, the clown head and feet might have joined up into one long train there. Here's a, I guess, Arabian Nights themed ride. Got some more. Little kid slides here and there. Oh, here's a piece of track. That's some serious banking. <laughs> it is, isn't it? More controls here. What do you think these things are? No idea. No. I've got no idea either. Oh, wow. That's funky smelling zone. I think we've seen through that way. Wow, it just goes on and on and on, doesn't it? Aladino. Aladino, yes. I guess that's that one that was the, uh, sort of the mosque. Whoa, one look there. at this fridge. Neo, Neo tank. tank. Some pool tables in there. And ciphers written on the board. Yeah. Korean Paper Craft Contest Exhibition. Yeah, I wonder when that was held. It was the tenth one, so maybe we can find out when that was. Hanji. Yep. Broken glass again. 
Oh wow. Looky here. A decent amount of rice here. Really. It's pretty small area. I wonder if they were all from here or some of them have been assembled. <laughs> Could be. There's, this is the third boat. Are they really going to have three? But this was built before Lotte World, so if this was hmm. the only place you could come in Seoul for an amusement park. Oh, there's also, um, was it Seoul Land? No, but I assume this was hmm. built before then as well. Yeah, but they're going to have three of these swinging boats. I don't know. Think about the show. You could easily. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> wow, look at this. This is from a 4D EFX theatre. Very 4D nowadays. A lovely capsule, you wouldn't get stuck in? No, you wouldn't. Max Zilla monster truck ride. Oh, this is just sad. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Aww. UPS. Yeah. <laughs> Three of them. Three, yeah. Um, they might be a bit interrupted now. I think they There's are, another one yeah. on the ground. Well, you'd want a few of these to be able mm. to get people out of rides that have locked and stuff. Oh, wow, look at this head. Ah. <laughs> What the hell is this? I don't know. Oh, there's someone's legs. Six out for Harambe. Delightful. Hmm. A stirring sentiment, no doubt. Oh, wow. How did I no notice this before? So there's a whole bunch of like, you know, globes and stuff quite neatly filed, um, or you know, would have been. You can see here, and they've just been left out, you know, spare parts and stuff. Yeah, this is kind of terrifying, isn't it? Ooh, it's kind of like a, kind of like an alien alien, but also not. I guess this is a staff roomy, spare partsy kind of a place. So yeah, what a fantastic opportunity this is to be able to see inside an abandoned theme park. Or at least, you know, one that is not in use any longer. This guy's interesting. He's got like little, oof, that's not so stable. <laughs> little switches in his eyes or lights in his eyes. Is that DJ's playing with any funky songs anymore? No, he's not really, is he? Should we go have a look at the castle? Yeah. So this is the gate where you come in, and uh, there's a phone number in case the guy's not there, but if he is, you just give him 5,000 won, which is like $5. And uh, you can come in and explore to your heart's content, basically. Which is lovely. This floral display is aptly named Terminator and features Dodge and Cars, which are all nicely aligned. I don't think that's exactly how it was originally. 
And we've got some Christmas themed things around the place. Ooh, here's an octopus ride with another Disney assortment of figures. So here's the castle. It looks like a really grand entrance to another section of the park, but it's not. It um, seems to be the end. Have a nice day. Wow. I guess this was an office. There's some kids books in here. Extremely <laughs> creepy looking TV from Tower B. Handle with car. So these boxes, oh this is like you can climb up here and have your photo taken if you wish. And there's a lovely view with some nice magnolias. This might have been uh, another entrance to the park I guess and there's a ticket booth. A game here of goodness only knows what. More abandoned office furniture. And, uh, oh wow, it's Digimon, isn't it? Yep. It's like a, a rest area. With more kids' books there. Quite a nice ceiling. Very interesting lights. Yeah. Maybe someone celebrated the new year here with their balloons. Oh. Kind of hurts you to see this stuff ruined, doesn't it? this game, or ride I should say, attraction. It's very interesting, it seems to have some pop icons, a lot of rings, and a pharaoh for some goodness knows what reason. sound of water dripping off that is quite creepy. Wow. Special. I assume that back in the day there would have been some uh, guardrails on this. One only hopes. Ah, oh, here we are. This is the turn o -matic. Get a good view from up here of the various things. And uh, yeah, into the control room. Whoa, cool. Very nice. That building through there looks quite abandoned as well.
So I guess these were seats that went to something. And uh, down here seems to be the last section of abandoned rides. Oh, apart from the rooftop, which we still haven't gone to. Man, there's so many things. I think this is a Thai Airways jet. Yeah, it is. Check it out. Thai Airways. And here we have some kind of machine. High quality sound effects. Music club. Wow, and a whole bunch of junk has just fallen down the back there. This one says Everland on it, which I think is the name of another theme park around here, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe you're right that they do um, allow other people to dump their stuff here, which would make sense. Here we have some raincoats. <laughs> Under inspection. Yep, I think that one will be. I'm surprised that's the only vehicle that is under inspection, quite frankly. Oh wow, look at this. Ooh. Some soft, soft rides, I guess? Yeah, so you could just got quick in the face of a spider web. You could go on one of these creatures and walk around I guess. That would be excitement plus I'm sure. Ooh, not doing so good. Imadoko. Oh, here's some more of them. Oh, wow. I think these are candles. And there's pictures here. <laughs> this looks quite amusing. And a tent. Maybe someone has been staying here. Targa Disco. Oh wow. So there's an excellent view of that huge abandoned building from here. As well as the rest of the park. <laughs>